Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I actually just am deciding to do this little video off a spoof. I just went to Walgreens and ended up picking up some things that I don't normally see or that are new for the season or whatever and I just wanted to do a quick video. If this is your first time um, watching a video on my channel, hello, my name is Lisa and this is my beauty channel. I hope that you choose to subscribe and go on this journey with me. Otherwise we're just going to do a quick Walgreens um, haul video and this is actually most of the stuff is from I think brands that aren't talked about a lot or you don't see a lot of um, just random things I picked up and the nice thing about the Walgreens that I went to is they had testers there so I really appreciated that so the first thing that I got is the soap and glory one heck of a blot all day liquid to powder foundation shine block 12 hour long wear technology and super blur powder um, this was probably like $15. I mean, the drugstore is getting kind of crazy with their pricing, I think, recently, but I tested this out on the back of my hand, and it seriously blurred things. Like, my hand never looks smoother, I swear. I got mine in the shade Fair Enough, which was their lightest shade, and I don't think that it's going to be good for my winter months, but I'll try this out. Fair enough is not fair enough, just to let you know, Soap and Glory, so you're going to have to make more. Um, but I figure, what the heck, I haven't tried anything from the brand, so I wanted to try it out. The next thing I got was the new Wet n Wild, what are you called though, matte liquid lipstick, color icon, and I got it in the shade Don't Be a Plum Plum. And I actually have some of their metallic shades from the summer, and they were actually pretty nice. So they had a like a hot pink shade, but I'm like going into the fall, and I rarely wear pink anyway. But this one did look nice, and it was $2.99. And I actually think that Wet n Wild has been killing it this year. So let's see if there's any. There's no smell just smells like a standard thing and I actually think that you can really tell on reds and plums like the colors by looking kind of on the stick I know that's really weird but I can tell that this is a little bit more of a cool tone because it leans blue but it does look pretty neutral it's not warm toned I can tell you that it is very nice though very liquidy very 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 watery but this is it. Not not really streaky at all. So yeah, we'll see. I'll let it see if it dries down at all while we do this video. Next up, I got two um, number seven Stay Perfect Shade and Define kind of pens. And I swatched all of them, and these are the two that I like the best, which is interesting because usually I go for champagne colors or lighter colors, but the lighter colors seemed a little bit more... Um, streaky to me and I did not like that so let's start with this this one right here it's like a navy let's see what are you called anywhere I think this was like electric okay gunmetal gray it's kind of weird that they don't have it on the packaging they have it on the label right here so that's a little interesting so here is a swatch of that and I really like this will not streak at all super creamy so there is that I don't know I thought it was really nice and this one is in the shade velvet truffle I'll put that right above the gunmetal gray and so it's kind of just like your standard kind of brown which I think will be really helpful, especially if you want to put like a black or a brown on top of that, on the lid. I just love that gunmetal gray though. And these were $10 a piece, so, um, drugstore, just letting you know, I think you need to calm it down a little bit. If you want to know what I'm wearing on my lips today, it is the, uh, Kat Von D Lolita, and I did not get it in the first batch, I think it was like the second batch, but... It is seriously a perfect color. I almost never use it because I'm a terrified to run out, but I need to just use them. Okay, next up is I got three of these, and they were in different shades, but it is from the brand. I mean, seriously, where's the brand? 
um, Tattoo Junkie, and I think that these, this is a brand by Wet n Wild, and I think it's like more their holiday collection, but I thought, um, screw it, a lot of this I can wear on just the daily. So this is a lip paint, long lasting lip, liquid lipstick, all of these are long lasting, dries matte, smudge proof, and effects included, which is like a glitter that goes on top. So this one is in the shade Minx, and this looks more like, not a nudie, but more of like a, a toned down brown. I wouldn't say super nudie, but it is definitely the lightest shade of the bunch, or the most nudie shade of the bunch, but it is like a dark brown burgundy. And the glitter does match. The next one is in the shade Rebel, and this is like a red liquid lipstick with, um, a metallic glitter that goes on top and the metallic glitter looks like it's almost got a little bit of um, like a plummy red in there so we'll see I'm thinking of doing a um, video like review swatch video on my lips of these and see if they truly dry down see if they get crusty with that glitter on there just see how they apply um, and the last one is in Vixen and it goes on it looks like a very 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 dark plum and then the um, glitter looks like a bright, bright purple. So it looks like you could be able to wear the liquid lipsticks on their own. Like you don't have to pair it. So hey, if they're nice, then this is a win. I think these were five bucks each. So I mean, glitter and liquid lipstick for five bucks. And if they're good and not streaky, I don't know. But I think that I will do a video and review and swatches on them. So let's see, $15 for three liquid lipsticks and their glitter counterparts. I'm all in. So. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have tried anything out that I bought, especially the Soap and Glory Foundation. Let me know if you like it or not. And also let me know if you have bought other stuff from the number seven brand because I really do like these. That gunmetal gray is so beautiful. I love it. And the um the velvet truffle kind of has a gold bronze iridescence to it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but it really is pretty. And it's been a couple minutes. Oh, that's right down. The Wet n Wild really, I mean, it's only been a couple minutes. There's like a tiny, tiny bit on my finger, but it really dried down and it really, I mean, that might've been user error right there. I don't know, but maybe I'll try that on too in that video just to test it out. Or I'll let you know in that video um, how it wears. But I mean, it's right down. And usually like drugstore brands, they kind of come off like a cream. I mean, hey yo. Anyways, thanks for watching my video. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to continue on this journey with me, then go ahead and hit subscribe. I hope you're having a wonderful October so far. Thanks for watching. Bye.